Thank you very much. Let me start with uh, Copernicus, also to speak about uh, our national program. Copernicus space component uh, is uh, very important with uh, four sent sent sentinel satellites already in orbit and a first constellation fully operational with Sentinel 1A and 1B with a C band SAR. Uh, at the end of uh, 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 2020, eight, uh, eight Sentinel satellites will be operational. So, in this context, we are developing at national level some mission in different, uh, um, with different sensors, equipped with different sensors. In particular, we have Cosmos CIMED, uh, the largest Italian investment in Earth observation, with four satellites, with four SAR satellites in X-band, that is fully operation, operative since 2011 and uh, have a lot of uh, peculiar characteristic uh, is uh, uh, able uh, to acquire uh, with different uh, imaging mode with variable resolution from very high uh, resolution to lower resolution but more large field of view uh, we have fast response uh, and much revisit worldwide accessibility, interferometric and polarimetric capability. Uh, Cosmos Climate have a second, a second generation, a second generation where some characteristic of the satellite will be improved, for example, the special resolution or the polarimetric cap capabilities. The deployment scenario is uh, um, for reason that the, even if the, four, the two new satellites replace the Cosmos climate satellite at the end of the, uh, their life, um, in any case, um, we uh, will have, I think, uh, more than four satellites together in orbit because the four satellites of the first generation are already uh, are fully operational. Capabilities. All, just with four satellites, we are able to see in the same day one area, for example, Rome, three times in the morning and four times in the morning and three times in the afternoon of the same day, obviously with different angle of uh, view. Um, other aspect very important of uh, the constellation are the fast response and the large coverage. In this case, during the tsunami event in Japan, we acquired very fast two, um, no, in this case, f f four um, st strip and cover in the first two, three days uh, the um, area affected by the tsunami uh, a lot of times. Um, in uh, another aspect very important is Cosmos Climate is uh, um, a geosynchronous, um, okay, a sun synchronous satellite. So at high latitude, it's possible to uh, acquire a lot of images in short time and so monitor, uh, for example, in this case, an, uh, um, a part of the ice, uh, an iceberg that is uh, um, moving in the area near the North Pole. So uh, with uh, um, 18 minutes of interval between the two images, it's also possible to reconstruct the uh, current pattern in, uh, in the area. Uh, for emergency, Cosmos Climate was used a lot for emergency in uh, um, various situations just for the beginning of the, um, its life. 
Uh, in particular, in this case, we have uh, a monitoring pattern uh, put, uh, programmed uh, just uh, less than uh, one month ago to monitor a flood in the north of Italy and uh, um, the uh, flooded area was uh, with uh, Cosmos Sky Med is a SAR. It's very easy to identify flooded area from the f from the data. Um, oops, sorry. Respect to hydrogeological risk management, another uh, use that we make uh, easily of a SAR satellite is uh, to. Um, monitor the displacement and the speed evolution uh, uh, using um, an interferometric pattern of acquisition. In this case, we are monitoring uh, um, landslide, some landslide in Italy and in Russia. Okay, just to complete. At national level, in, um, we are uh, developing also an hyperspectral uh, mission. The first one, satellite, PRISMA, will be launched in two years. And uh, um, after PRISMA, we, uh, for, for is it to have also uh, an operational, more operational sensor, hyperspectral sensor, uh, called Shalom, where the, for example, the spatial resolution from 30, me 30 meters will become 10 meters. Water quality, suspended sediment concentration in, uh, uh, along the coastal area and in the uh, fluvial lakes, uh, soil moisture are uh, uh, can be uh, easily uh, measured using hyperspectral data. Uh, just um, an anticipation, we are working also to prepare the next generation of observing satellite. In this case, we have a synthetic aperture instrument for novel Earth remote sensed meteorology and hydrology. We are starting now a phase zero A study and uh, uh, the scientific scope of this mission is uh, um, to use uh, a, a geosynchronous SAR uh, for, uh, in the field of meteorology and hydrology. GeoSAR have unique capability of SAR with, uh, combined with a short revisit of a geo satellite and uh, in this way, we, uh, we will have, sorry, okay, uh, we will have the possibility to develop application uh, as the uh, monitoring and the forecast of emergency event or the monitoring of vapor, soil, and snow water, and uh, just to um, show the performance, the temporal resolution uh, will be very, very high uh, because uh, we have more than one image for every day that can be used for uh, the, this kind of application. Users typically are institutional one and uh, science community because it's, this is a very new uh, idea, very new concept of satellite. Thank you very much.